Hey guys, it's your boy Mark back with you another WWE PLE review Backlash France 2024 just got off the air And that was awesome man This was even better than last year's Backlash in my opinion I wasn't quite as high as on last year's Backlash as a lot of people were I admit But man This crowd in France makes me proud to be of French ancestry because I don't know if it's in the moment stuff, but this is honest to God. Um, sorry, I thought I was gonna sneeze. Honest to God, the best crowd I've ever seen in my life for a wrestling show. Um, they were loud all freaking night, man. I know there were only five matches, but. Still, they were loud. They were epic. Um, throughout the show, they constantly um, chanted what to me sounded like Sacre Bleu, you know, because France and all that. It sounded like Sacre Bleu, uh, ch -ch 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 Sacre Bleu. I don't know if that's what they were actually saying, but that's what it sounded like to me. And uh, there's this uh, song that uh played I, I actually sent a video to my friend uh, and I, I and now i should have listened to it before starting to record it but i'm gonna play audio from this clip i filmed yeah um that that one the crowd was singing during the main event constantly does anyone know what song that is? It was beautiful to hear, honestly. And sorry if that was too loud. And and hopefully I didn't, you know, kill your ears if you're listening with headphones. But yeah, Backlash. Absolutely loved it. Every single match was good to great, honestly. In my honest opinion. My nose keeps screwing with me. I keep thinking I'm going to sneeze. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, five matches. All five of them were great, honestly. Open up the show. We have our KO, Randy Orton and Kevin Owens, versus the Bloodline, consisting of Tamatonga and Solo Sequa. Now, man, during Randy Orton's entrance, they sung his theme song during his entrance, and it was beautiful. Anyway, before the belly even rung, they were already fighting, and then Nick Aldis comes up saying, hey, since you guys don't want to follow the rules, let's just make this a new DQ match. Yes, and this match just became a hundred times more interesting. There were trash can spots, there were table spots. Randy Orton got put through a table. Um, Kevin Owens put Tamatonga through tables. It was all great stuff. Just a fun Street Fighter match. They did find the crowd for a bit too, which was always fun to see. I love it when they find the crowd. Anyway, uh, so um, Kevin Owens does the awesome uh, his his suplex thing. The spinning around suplex thing. I forget what it's called right now. But um, he did that from the top rope. Onto a bunch of chairs to Tamatonga. Looked like he was about to get the win. But. Someone interrupts the, the pin. And it's revealed to be. Tonga Loa. Yes. G.O.D. is now in WWE. Tonga Loa. Joins the bloodline. Joins WWE. And uh. Then Solo comes in, um, spikes um, Kevin Owens for the victory. So, yeah, um, awesome opener. Loved it. But next up, we have the triple threat match for the Women's Championship. Um, Bailey defending against uh, Tiffany Stratton. It's Tiffy Time and Naomi. Triple threat. 
awesome triple threat. Uh, the crowd did not seem to react at all to Tiffany Strand during the entrance, but once she was showing the moves in the ring, they started cheering. They started cheering. That was awesome, awesome to see. Lots of great counters. It was an awesome moment where Bailey did like a sunset flip thing to both of the other performers and to the corner. That was much later on in the match. There was an awesome, like, I think it was Naomi and Tiffany when they were doing the the seesaw thing, like, tombstone position, and then into another tombstone position with the other one. I don't know how to describe it, but that was another awesome spot. Um, Tiffany did the Alabama Slam onto the announce table to both women, both other women. That was an awesome spot. Uh, the table didn't break either the time. A lot of great counters, a lot of great, like, roll-ups and kickouts. Ultimately, it was actually a roll-up that ended the match when Bailey rolled up uh, Naomi to score the victory. And then Naomi was like, hey, great match, man. And that was wholesome between them, you know, between Naomi and uh, Bailey right there. So Bailey retains. No real surprise there. Match number three, the World Heavyweight Championship match. Uh, Damian Priest defending against Jey Uso. Now, Damian Priest did not want members of Judgment Day interfering. But now, I'm sure he's glad they did because he definitely would have lost the championship if uh, not for members of Judgment Day. Now, this was a pretty good match. Um, the crowd were kind of were very pro Jey Uso, but like once the match was going on and was slowly starting to build steam, you know, Damien earned the crowd's respect too. Great stuff. Um, South of Heaven, Jay was actually kicked out of that. Um, Jay did a bunch of super kicks and a splash. Looked like he was going to win the World Heavyweight Championship, but JD puts his foot on the rope. Finn Bella also interfered. And uh, then Damien Priest did a super South of Heaven from the top rope um, to uh, Jay Uso for the one, two, three, and his Victoria Spiel. Sorry, I've been listening to the system of down a lot lately. Um, but yeah. Then uh, after the match, uh, JD and uh, Finn Balor attack Jey Uso. And Damien Priest is like, hey, hey, no, no, leave him alone. He's done. You know. Is that babyface Damien coming in soon? Interesting. Interesting. But anyways, next up, this match, ne this next match was way better than I ever thought it would be um it was a uh, women's tag team championship match kabuki warriors damage control Kyrie and oscar defending the women's tag team championships against bianca Belair and jade cargo i really enjoyed this match actually wow i figured this would be just a filler tag match you know just to give the easy win to bianca and jade but no it wasn't quite an easy win for them the kabukis definitely fought their hardest as good as they could you know great back and forth action um i like the story when they didn't want to to they did their best to make sure bianca could not tag in jade because otherwise jade would just be a nightmare for them they knew it and um yeah, it was actually really great stuff. One point, it looked like uh, uh, Kyrie did her elbow to Bianca. It looked like they're about to retain. Jade broke it up. Jade gets taken near the end. Um, it does uh, I think Kyrie did a move. I couldn't quite get all the details, but it was like she counted something into her grand, to her glance, glam slam thing, and then. Bianca, KODs, Asuka, and I think the crowd counted early. The crowd confused me in this moment, too, because it was like the crowd already started counting to one, and then the referee rung the bell when it seemed like he only hit the mat twice. I guess, like, he wanted to go with the crowd or <laughs> something, you know. That was confusing. Um... 
I think I saw some people point it out on Twitter. But yeah. Anyway, main event time. Uh Main event time. Um, Cody Rhodes. In his first WWE Undisputed Championship defense. Against the phenomenal AJ Styles. The crowd sung along to Cody's entrance as well. And this was when they're saying the the scene the na 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 thing, and uh, this match was epic. Like all main events, it took a while to get going, but the match really kicked into high gear, in my opinion. When uh, Cody freaking power bombed AJ through the the French announce table, that was awesome. A lot of beautiful counters, AJ countering, them both countering stuff, of course. My grandpa's actually quite impressed with AJ's uh, 630 splash thing when he saw it. Um, uh, Cody did a beautiful uh, Cody cutter on the from jumping off the top turnbuckle. That was beautiful. That was awesome to see. And uh, just an epic match all around between these two. Beautiful counters all around, etc. Cody eventually gets the W after a crossroads to AJ Styles. One, two, three. Cody Rhodes retains in his first defense of the WWE Championship. Congratulations, Cody. Awesome pay per view. The crowd was amazing. And uh, yeah, I know this is quite shorter than how I usually do my reviews, but. You know what, I think, you know, five matches and the fact that, I don't know, I'm actually recovering from surgery right now, maybe, maybe the surgery helped me, you know, get these straight to the point further, and yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my review of WWE Backlash France 2024, hope you enjoyed, I'll see you later, have a good one y'all, peace out.